Hello friends, welcome back to CAD practice. Today we are going to construct a basic model of helical gear in Autodesk Inventor software. So you can see this profile. It is having a taper gearing. So let's get started with today's tutorial. Go to new, go to standard part in millimeter and create. Now go to 2D sketch and select the xy plane ok now go to circle command and from the center point make circle of dia 115 mm and from same center point circle of dia 50 mm ok now finish sketch go to extrude command and select this internal profile and give the width of 100 mm here we have given 100 you want it symmetric so select here symmetric and ok now select this face go to create sketch and select the outer circle and go to project geometry ok now finish sketch Now from here go to 3D sketch and go to helical curve ok select the center point and change the face change it to top and select this end ok now from here change it to pitch and height so the diameter will remain 115 mm the height will remain 100 and the pitch will be 1570 ok now ok go to home and rotate it you can rotate it from here ok now rotate this view now you can see the arc is here this is the arc which we have made now select this face ok finish sketch first now select this face and go to create sketch from here select this and again click on project geometry ok now go to arc command and here make an arc and here also in this direction ok and make a line and join here from center escape and make one more line from this point till here escape now we want to trim this extra line go to trim trim this profile and select this and make construction geometry ok now you can see this is moving so go to horizontal constraint select this point and select this point okay. don't select this horizontal constraint select this line and select this line point this point ok now line is shifted now we will give the dimensions go to dimensions give this a dimension of 20 radius and this of radius 2 now the uh, point of radius center point of radius and this axis will be at 0.5 ok now this radius and this center point the distance will be of 6 
escape now go to tangent constraint select this arc and select this arc okay similarly escape drag it outwards and drag this also like this you can drag it okay now go to dimension so this point and this whole complete profile will be of height 9.5 mm escape okay first go to vertical constraint and select this line this is vertically constrained now escape now from here give this dimension 9.5 Okay. Go to dimensions once again, and this point and this starting point will be at 7.5 mm. Complete 7.5. Okay. Now go to mirror and select this arc, this and this line. Now go to mirror line and select the center line and apply. done okay this is the profile now select this outer body and go to construction make it a construction profile and go to arc select this point and this point and join with this okay you have to join with this the outer circle now this is fully constrained skip this is fully constrained profile now finish sketch rotate the view now you can see this is lying at center point of this arc which we have made or the helix which we have made so go to sweep and select this profile okay it is selecting hole so first select this and hide we want this file and this file okay go to sketch once again this should not be in solid make it a construction geometry okay only this part should be in solid okay so this part this portion is in solid now the tool select only this portion go to sweep you can see now only this portion is selected and for path select this okay and we will go to cut and okay so the cut profile is made here now we want to pattern this profile so go to circular pattern select this profile go to rotation axis and select this as rotation axis now it will ask you for the count we will give a count of 25 and okay now this is been constructed okay you can give any color or grid from here you can give any uh you can give gun metal or you can give machine any uh, color which you want so this was a basic tutorial to how to construct a helical gear in autodesk inventor software i hope you like the video if you do that please do hit like and subscribe the channel for more such videos thank you